Okay guys, so I wanted to do a quick video because last night I was checking my 23andMe to see if they had updated um, my information, like, because I knew they are adding in those 120 um, ethnic groups or countries or whatever to their, to their different ancestry compositions. So anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look because they did update. Uh, let's go ahead and click on Ancestry Composition. All right. So if you've been following me along, you will know that I've been trying to figure out, like, I'm I'm from the Philippines, but I've gotten different mixed information from the different DNA sites. Um, so this is the updated version for 23andMe as of right now. So I'm 100% myself. I am 98% East Asian and Native American. Um, I am 97.7% Southeast Asian. And it is saying Philippines here. So I'm like, wow, okay, they've added that in. I love that. And then they're saying I am 0.1% broadly East Asian. 0.2% um, broadly East Asian and Native American, which I have not gotten any Native American whatsoever on any of the other sites. It says I am 1.3% South Asian, um, broadly South Asian. I am 0.2% European, which that is broadly Southern European, broadly European. And for the broadly Southern European, that actually includes, um, let's see, Iberian, Italian, Balkan peninsulas, as well as the island of Malta. So for the Balkan part, I'm like, wow, okay, that's what DNA land had said. Um, and for DNA land, uh, on that video, I shared that it said I was... For Balkan, it was, um, sorry, that's my son, that it was, what was that, Albanian and Greek, um, and then for the broadly European, that is, I don't know, look at all that, that's a lot, and I think DNA Land said I was Siberian, so that includes Russia. Um, so Melanesian, that's new for my 23andMe as well. That's the Melanesian, which is 0.2%, which it says it's broadly Melanesian, which we gene and I believe DNA land. I can't remember. They, um, said I had, um, Papuan, which is from Papua New Guinea, which does go under that ocean and segment. And then I also have unassigned 0 0.3. So let's go ahead and click on the see all tested populations, which is new. Okay, so now you can see the match strength. So let me go up here and read this really quick. Um, how we calculate your ancestral breakdown. To determine your ancestral breakdown, we use an algorithm that individually looks at short pieces of DNA across your genome. We compare each piece to DNA sequences from 31 ancestral reference populations from around the world, which include over 10,000 individuals with known ancestry. When a piece of your DNA resembles the DNA from a specific reference population with a high degree of certainty, it is assigned to that population. Sometimes a piece of DNA resembles reference DNA from several populations, in which case it is assigned to a broad ancestry, which obviously I have a lot of. The results of these assignments are tallied across your genome to determine your results. Um, let's see, and then it says how we determine your recent ancestor locations. To determine your recent ancestor locations, you look for identical pieces of DNA that you have in common with individuals of known ancestry from over 120 countries and territories in Europe, Africa, the Americas, Asia, and Oceania. If you share identical DNA segments with five or more individuals from a specific location, in excluding your close relatives, that location is assigned to you. The strength of that assignment, the match strength, is determined by how much of your DNA you share with people from that location, adjusting for the number of people that we compared you with. When interpreting your results, keep in mind the following. 1. Country borders have changed a lot even within the past 100 years, which can sometimes produce counterintuitive results. 
Two, if you don't see an expected ancestry location, that doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have ancestors who live there. It could simply mean that you do not have enough shared DNA with our reference data set for us to confidently assign that location to you. And three, we determine these results in real time, meaning that new locations can arise as our da database grows and you should expect to see changes to your results over time. Sorry, my son is playing in the background. Okay, so for Southeast Asian, as you can see, the match strength for the Philippines is really strong. Um, Vietnam got one and everything else got zero um, for all those countries. Um, and then obviously there's a broadly East Asian, broadly East Asian and Native American. For South Asian, there wasn't any match strengths as well. Doesn't mean I don't have that. Um, with my Wee gene and my DNA land, it did say I had Indian and, well, I can't remember the other thing. Um, and then for European, again, everything is zero because are for match strength because it just couldn't pinpoint the specific area. But again, my DNA land said had pinpoints for Albania and for Greece. Um, let's see, let's, and then there's that broadly European, broadly Southern European, uh, Melanesian, again, no, um, strong matches, but I know that does include Papua New Guinea. Um, one thing that is different is that I got nothing for, um, Iranian, which I did have for my Ouijian, and then nothing for African, which I did have for my Ouijian and my DNA land. Um... And then, of course, I have 0.3% unassigned. So that is a wide range of, there is a wide range of human diversity out there. And sometimes our algorithm can't pinpoint a region of your DNA to a specific population. Bear with us as our data and resources continue to expand. We expect the amount of unassigned ancestry our customers see to decrease. So I'm really excited about that because with 23andMe, it's worth the money now to me because they are constantly updating um, what is, has your, if you have 23 Me has your information changed um, in the past month or so? If it has, let me know. And then, um, oh, I, I did want to say that Wee Jean had me at like 39% Taiwanese, same with DNA land, so... I want to see as 23andMe updates if that will come out um, in their database. Um, I'm surprised it didn't uh, just because I had gotten that for two other um, databases for genealogy. So anyways, let me know what you think. I'm really excited and happy um, with what I see. And I will see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.